Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? This is Kazi from CloverProgrammer.com and this tutorial is Was that better? <laughs> yeah, but aren't you gonna take his seat after that? Oh. oh can we just edit it? Like, I oh yeah, that, yeah, you just cut. Yeah, yeah, just and yeah. I'm just gonna like fall. All right, now you go sit in the seat. <laughs> <clears throat> is, it, is it rolling? Yeah. I'm taking over, boys. Let's do this. <clears throat> What's up you guys? This is Aaron from Clever Programmer and uh, we just have a quick short little video for you today. Uh, we're going to be talking about list comprehensions in Python. So uh, this is a neat little trick that uh, that is unique to Python I believe. I don't know any other programming languages that have it. But pretty much what it allows you to do is to make lists out of um, cool little expressions. So you can actually populate an entire list with just one line with this little um, unique thing. A little bit weird to explain, but I'll just show you and then you'll see how it works. So let's get started. So let's say we have a list called names. Uh, let's just put in uh, some names here. So we have uh, Jennifer, Susan, Jane, and Sophie. All right, cool. So this is our uh, short little list list of names. And um, first of all, if you wanted to put all of these names in a list, then the first way you could do it was actually use a for loop. So I will show that first. This is the way that you guys should be familiar with doing. So we would just have an empty list here, and then we would have to iterate for every uh, person in the list. We would simply append that person to the new list. So what we did here was we put every name in the names list and put it into the L list. So we're just going to print this out just like that. Give this a run. And um, there is an error. Oh, uh, let's see what's going on here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Stupid me, you guys. Pardon me. We want to append the person to the list, not the list to the list. <laughs> All right, so let's run that again. And as you can see, the, um, all the names are printed out nice and nice and clean here. So what we did here was we created a new list, we read from the list, and we put everything um, in that list into a new list and printed that new list. Pretty cool, right? Now I'm gonna show you the list comprehension for this. So the way you could, um, the way you do that is you would actually just um, uh, make a list like this. So the syntax for this is the item that you want to be in the list goes first. So we could just put. Uh, person here uh, and I'll show how this relates to the for loop later but we'll go here and then we'll say um, for person in names simply like that so what's happening here is uh, we actually have a for loop in in one line here so it's gonna loop through so person is gonna loop through this for loop is gonna loop through names and um, each element in the names list will be person. And all we're doing is simply taking this uh, variable here and we're sticking it here. And these things that are over here will be what's actually in the list when we're done. So let's try to print this and see what happens. It should be exactly the same. Go like that, hit run. And as you can see, the output is the same both times. So these two pieces of code, this for loop and this list comprehension are actually equivalent. But you see how we collapse these four, four lines of code into one line? That's the uh, power of list comprehensions. So that's the most basic one that everybody learns first. That's the one I learned first. Um, but actually, the true power of list comprehensions is that if you have a list of something, you can actually do operations on every element of the list and create a new list that way. So let's say you had um, a bunch of numbers in a list. You had one, two, three, four, and then you wanted to maybe um, multiply everything by two. So it would become two, four, six, eight, just like that. You could use a list comprehension to do uh, an operation on every element, and um, it would come out like that. So let's, uh, let's have another example. Um, let's make uh, another list, and I'm going to change. I'm actually going to do an operation on all of these. So let's create another empty list here. Uh, this is going to overwrite the empty list L from above. Um, actually, let's just paste this in. Boom, just like that. So for person in names, 
we can actually um, edit everything in here. So if we, instead of just wanting to add person, we could actually edit this thing before we add it to the list so that it looks new. So all I'm going to do here is a very simple and um, slightly personal thing, but I'm just gonna type in dumped me <clears throat> right here. So now let's run this. And as you can see, this has suddenly turned into a list of X's, not just people. All right, so let's go on. Um, uh, turning this to a list comprehension will be as simple as copy and pasting this. And um, the way this would work is uh, for each person in, um, in the names list, we would actually just add the string to here. Just like that. <laughs> what am I doing, you guys? <laughs> so as you can see, everything is reiterated here. I've probably written this out on paper many, many times, but it's actually on a screen now forever in the electronic abyss. Um, let's move on. So that's how all list comprehension works. All you do is you can actually go through an entire list. So the list we're going through here is names. And we wanted to do an operation to every element in that list, which is add dumped me to the end of every name. And so I actually just put those things together and put it in this new list. So now, the list looks like that. You guys following? Um, lastly, uh, there's actually a couple other cool things you can do. Um, you can actually get pretty verbose in these and do some weird nesting, but then it gets a little bit messy. It might actually be better just to use for loops at that point, like nested for loops. Um, but if it's just two statements, uh, that might actually be okay. Like two nested for loops or a for loop with an if statement inside. Uh, we'll try that next. So getting to a slightly more positive note, uh, we'll go back to um, this list L. Um, oh, uh, actually, yeah, we'll, ch we'll have a new list down here. Let's just start something new. So let's have a dictionary called movies and ratings, just like that. All right, and then we're just going to have um, interstellar, like that, and give this a rating of 9 out of 10. And then we'll also have dark night. Let's move this over so you can see. Dark Knight, rating of eight. Um, we'll have 50 Shades, <laughs> uh, rating of three. And then we'll have, again, 50 Shades, darker, <laughs> rating of two. And this, as this is progressing, you can see where this is going. 50 Shades, darkest, rating of one. Okay, so now let's say we have we have this dictionary here. Yeah, you can also run um, comprehensions over dictionary. So this would actually be called a dictionary comprehension. You can um, make a list here. Um, and let's say I just wanted to filter out all of uh, the movies that have a rating less than six. So I only want to show the ones that have a rating um, more than uh, more than six. So how that would work would just be for movie in movies and ratings with their autocomplete that there um if movies and ratings at movie uh is greater than six so we're filtering out here so if the movie is greater than six then we will append it to the the empty uh empty new list so that will just be movie just like that and then we'll print this out And let's see how that works. Um, these three movies should have been cut out, and then it should only show uh, these two here. It should just show the names because when we index into a uh, dictionary, only the key here, the key string here is is uh, put in the list. Let's run this, and as you can see, ignore all this stuff. <laughs> I'm over it. But um, we can see that the the three movies that that and anything with a rating less than six and um, these 50 shades ones all got cut out and uh, interstellar and the dark knight uh these awesome sci-fi and superhero movies stayed in so that's how that works but we can actually put this all into a list comprehension this will be the final one because it's a little bit complicated but if you understand this you can pretty much understand any list comprehension because you can do uh I don't think there's a limit to it, but you could probably nest as many as you want into one line, but it gets unruly at some point. So just be conscious of that. But this is great for saving a lot of space for short little for loops. So this one, follow along you guys, is going to be movie. So we want the movie name to be in the list. Um, for movie in movies in the list, movie in ratings. But we only want the movies um, that are in movies and ratings if 
the movies and um movies and ratings at movie oops is greater than six. So what this is saying is um for every movie movie.ratings or movie and ratings, um if if the movie rating is greater than six, then stick the movie name in the list. So let's see how that runs. It should have the same exact output. And as you can see, it has the same exact output as a for loop, all done in one line. So let's take a one final look at this to compare the code. So um, this first example, we have a list of names, and then this for loop became this list comprehension, this for loop became this list comprehension, and this for loop became this list comprehension. Um, that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, really cool little thing you can do in Python. Uh, very good for being very uh, descriptive in a single line of code and super, super useful if you want to do a uh, some kind of calculation on every element of a list and create a new list from that. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite things in Python. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but yeah, just let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, and that should be it for this video. Thanks, you guys, for watching, and see you later. Good bye.